This morning, there's new trouble for Bernie Madoff, who's serving 150 years in prison for his multi-billion dollar Ponzi scheme. Reports say that his wife of 52 years has dumped him as she tries to patch up her shattered life. Life behind bars is about to get even lonelier for Bernard Madoff. According to biographer Diana Henriquez, his wife Ruth has not visited since the December suicide of their eldest son, Mark. She is reportedly looking to reconcile with remaining son, Andrew, who, along with his brother, gave his mother an ultimatum after their father's massive fraud was exposed. Choose us or choose him. She chose her husband. After Mark killed himself, Ruth was turned away from the funeral by his widow and ever since has been severing ties to her husband of 52 years. Bernie is said to be stunned at how angry his family has become. For a man who's lost his fortune and freedom, his wife may be the next to go. And joining us now is Diane Enriquez of the New York Times, author of The Wizard of Lies, Bernie Madoff, and The Death of Trust. She was the first reporter to interview Madoff in prison, and she joins us here this morning. Diana, good to see you. Good to see you so let's talk about this relationship, this estranged relationship between uh, Ruth, now Bernie, now with Bernie, and but with the sons beforehand. Well, certainly we know that after Madoff's arrest, his sons uh, cut ties with both him and with Ruth. Ruth decided to stay with him, um, and I've... Uh, as I note in my book, her, her friends believe it was because she just had so much compassion for this man that she fell in love with when she was 13, married when she was 18. It was a 50-year romance, and she simply couldn't leave him. But for all practical purposes, Chris, the Madoff marriage was split apart by that 150-year prison sentence yeah. uh, that uh, will keep Madoff behind bars for the rest of his life. So my sense is that Ruth is now focusing all her efforts on rebuilding a relationship with her surviving son, Andrew, and her grandchildren. Is this something she did at the request of Bernie, or is you know, this something she did on her own? My sense is that Bernie wants Ruth to do whatever she must to rebuild her life, even at the expense of their obviously limited time together. He cares very much about her and I think wants her to have the comfort of her family in the years to come. Now, Andrew has basically sworn off his mother for the past few years. The other son, Mark, committed suicide, like you mentioned. Will Andrew now welcome her, ba welcome her back? We're going, to, we're going to see. I, I'm, in, I'm encouraged by the sources that I hear that there are uh, there are good uh, uh, signs of reconciliation. Yeah. <clears throat> and the progress remains to be seen, obviously. There's a, a, a dreadful burden of anger and hurt. Um, this crime shattered the Madoff family, as it did so many families among the victims. And of I course. think there's probably a lot of people out there that were victimized by this family that, that have no sympathy for anything that's going on with their family right now. Let's talk about the investigation and the money that Irving Picard is now recovering from this Ponzi scheme. Yes, it's a remarkable recovery. Uh, the summer has brought some important news on that front, though. Um, I was going into this summer saying this is going to be the most phenomenal Ponzi scheme recovery in history. Um, that uh, trustee Irving Picard is on track to potentially return victims up to 50 cents on the dollar of their out-of-pocket losses. Now, obviously, you can't rebuild the shattered lives. You can't yeah. recover the, you know, the homes that were sold and the college educations. But in Ponzi scheme terms, this is a phenomenal recovery if he only gets 50 cents on the dollar. So that was the good news, and he landed another billion-dollar settlement, out-of-court settlement, just a few weeks ago, uh, which was a, another big gain for him. But then, in recent weeks, a, a bad setback on that yeah. front. More to come, I'm sure, but still getting 50 cents potentially on the dollar back. So much better. Like you said, normal Ponzi schemes is only about 5 cents. If so you're lucky, This yes. is amazing. All right, Dana, thank you so much. Good to see you here this morning.